A disclaimer for music. Let's talk about this. Hi, my name is Martis. I make daily video about business, legal, and intellectual property. What is intellectual property? Think about copyright, trademark, and other intellectual property. In this video, we're going to talk about copyright disclaimer for music, and I'm going to show you how to use it. This video is not going to be long, so don't worry about it. So let's look to let's go to the drawing board, and we have the drawing board. As you can see, you just need to understand what copyright um, copyright disclaimer is and how you can use it. And yeah, let's keep it short. If you want to know more about it, I made another video about it, so you can use it. If you create music, you have copyright on the music. That's simple. And you are the owner of the music, so you are the copyright holder. You decide what you're going to do with the music or not. If you create it together with someone else, you're both a copyright owner of the music. It's that simple. So this is you. And you are a copyright holder. If someone else wants to use it, they, uh, they need permission to use it. The thing is, sometimes when you create music, you want to prevent other people from using your music. So when you create music, you want to prevent other people from using it. You can create a disclaimer. And it's a uh, disclaimer statement. You're saying, hey, if you use my music without my permission, I'm going to sue you. It's that simple. Yeah. So um, that's a disclaimer. And what I want to say about the disclaimer is, when you look at the disclaimer, and disclaimer is just a statement. It doesn't say anything. If you have a contract with someone, someone signed a contract they did in action that means signing a contract is stronger than a disclaimer because disclaimer is just something you say that doesn't mean it's the true or not you can say that you have copyright on the music but is that true can I check it sometimes you need proof for that so the disclaimer can sometimes be helpful and sometimes it doesn't okay? but sometimes it can be helpful for example uh, scaring people away so you're asking yourself, what kind of disclaimer can I put? You can put a disclaimer in uh, the following disclaimer. You can put it in your YouTube description or in the description of your video or at the end of the video. It doesn't matter where you put it so you can show people. Just show to scare them off. Don't expect too much from it. When someone uses your copyright without your permission, you just need to show them. You just need to prove it. And that's another story. So what kind of disclaimer can you put um, onto your music? Simple, keep it simple. Simple disclaimer would be copyright at uh, put to your name in here. Any reproduction or illegal distribution of the content in any form will result in immediate action against the person concerned. So, that's something that you can put on uh, your disclaimer. You can put it beneath the description of your video clip or your music. You can put it in the metadata of your music uh, file. That's something you can do. Or, yeah. You can put it, but just remember, don't expect too much from a disclaimer. If you have question about it, let me know. Recap, disclaimer is just a statement. You use it so you can scare people off, show them that you have right on something, nothing more, nothing less. When someone uses something without your permission, then you can sue them. But remember, you need to prove it. If you have question about disclaimer or anything related to disclaimer for music or copyright, feel free to contact me. I will see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.